Um, Lena, where are you? It's late, and you haven't texted me. I'm worried. You're such a pain in the ass. At least, tell me what time you'll be home. Okay, okay. I'm not coming home tonight. Again? I don't care, but I'll be back in the morning, so get my breakfast ready, and lunch too. You know I'm also working, right? So what? I just wanted you to do a little more housework. What? Are you in a position to say that? No, it doesn't mean I'm asking you to do everything. We both work, so I want to split the household chores. You know what? You know I earn way more than you do, right? I know, but you haven't put in a penny for living expenses for the past six months. In the first place, when the marriage was arranged, I thought I was getting married to your handsome brother, who earns much more than you do. Turns out it's you. You got nothing to offer working at such a tiny company. Do you know how disappointed I was? And there was something about being business partners or something. I had to marry you because my dad's company was on the edge of going bankrupt. That's the actual reason why. So I had no choice but to marry you. That's... My brother has a fiancé, so there was no choice. Then, you should take a little pity on me. I feel so sorry for myself. You should be extra nice to me to compensate that. I'm trying, but... It's not enough. You have to be earning a lot to make me satisfied. At least, more than what I'm earning. I don't know what to say. Oh my god, you're driving me crazy. That's why you're getting paid so little. Be a man. I'm sorry. If you're really sorry, have $2,000 ready by tomorrow. What? I'm pissed off and I don't want to see you. I'm going on a trip to get away from all of this bullshit. No, that's too... What? Aren't you supposed to be pleasing me? Our saving is going to run out if you keep on spending like this. Huh? I have been trying so hard to meet your needs by using up my own savings. I also have been giving you all my salary every month, but I'm starting to see the limit. It would be really nice if you could contribute to the expenses too. What? What is that? I can't believe it. I'll work, do my best to work more. No. What? Oh, that's right. Then you should just quit your job. Quit my job? You've been in this company for about 10 years, right? Then you should get about a million dollar in severance, right? I'll take it all. Okay, now I have enough money for my allowance. No, wait a minute. Even if I get the money temporarily, I won't be able to make a living afterwards. You just need to find a new job and get on with it. Oh, and since you're changing jobs, look for a better paying job. It's not going to work out that way. Think about the state of the world today. Lena, you make more money than me. What a pain in the ass. I'm the poor woman who was forced to marry you. You don't want the world to say that I'm such a poor woman and that you're an unworthy husband who can't take care of me. So get your ass out of here and give me my severance pay. Don't be so reckless. I won't tolerate any more arguments from you. Lena, where are you? You haven't been home for a week. What a nuisance. I have something important to tell you. Oh, you mean about your resignation? Yes, that's right. I'm submitting my resignation. Okay, okay, well then... Then let's get divorced. Huh? Hey, 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 do you understand your position? Lena, do you understand your position? Huh? I already know. What? You're cheating on me. Huh? With my brother. Hello? Why don't you say something? Uh-oh. I don't care if you found out. You don't have to go through all that trouble to get divorce papers. Really? 
You already wrote them yourself, didn't you? I found it, so I brought it with me. Oh, that's why. I put it in a drawer and couldn't find it. Well then, could you just submit it, please? I just did. Already? Because I was at a friend's house right down the street from the town hall. That's why. Well, I'm glad we don't have to go through all that trouble. Uh, now I can marry my brother in law. I'm the next Mrs. President. Um, I'll charge you alimony. Huh? Alimony? I'm still discussing the amount with my lawyer, but I think I'll ask each of you for a million dollars. Ah, well, okay. As a next president and high income brother in law, he's got lots of money. Unlike you, who makes a meager monthly salary. Don't block me until everything is decided clearly. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! What? I can't withdraw my money. Huh? Your surveillance money. I was going to withdraw it from my account earlier, but it wasn't deposited. Oh, it was you who took my bank book and card. That's why you didn't get your severance pay. No, my severance pay hasn't come out yet. Why? Because I haven't left yet. Huh? You said you left. I didn't say that. You did. You need to recheck our messages from yesterday. I just said I'm going to submit my resignation. What? No way. You know, you can't just hand in your resignation. You know that, right? Of course I know that. So you just read it for your natural convenience. I went to the trouble of telling you in writing online, not verbally. Read carefully what people are writing, no matter who you're talking to. Shut up. By the way, I just submitted my resignation today. I'll start using my remaining paid leave next week until my last day at the company. I won't get my severance pay until after that. That's terrible. Why? What's the point of having your bank book with me? I went to the trouble of getting you to tell me your PIN number. You can have the money in there. The balance of $8 is as good as nothing. Call me as soon as your severance money is transferred. You're a pain in the ass. Huh? No way. You think my severance pay will be yours? Because you promised to give it to me. I didn't promise you that. You did. Lena, you just said you wanted it unilaterally. I didn't agree to it. Either way, I've specified that the severance money be transferred to another account. Huh? You're leaving the company because I said I wanted severance pay. Oh, there's your misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? I'm leaving because my dad's company asked me to. What? You mean your father's company? That's right. What do you mean? Actually, I got a certain national certification. National certification? My father's company was looking for people to help start up a new business. I had just passed the relevant certification exam. He was so impressed with my efforts that he offered me a position as a candidate for the next president of the company. What? Candidate for the next president? Your brother is the next president, right? That was already confirmed, wasn't it? That's all being changed. A clean slate? I mean, he's dismissal. Dismissal? You mean fired? Well, that's what it means. Why? Because he had an affair with you. Huh? Me? I've heard that if you just had an affair, they wouldn't fire you. If you skipped work and went to a hotel in the middle of the day, they don't care if you're the next president of the company. You're out. And he's done the worst possible thing by having an affair with his brother's wife. And he even betrayed his own fiance. Well, no, that's... Because of this, the person who should be at the top of the company 
is not like that. So the selection of the next president was to be rescheduled. Wait, something's not right. Or maybe I don't understand. What's that? Why did you go to all the trouble of getting a job at another company when your father owns one? Your father didn't take you seriously because you're a low bro who can't do the job, wasn't it? No, I wasn't. He just respected my feelings. If that's not the case, then you should stay at your father's company because it's easier. It's unconditionally higher income. I didn't like that. Why not? At the time, they were already saying that my brother was going to be the next president of the company. No matter how hard I try, they'll think I'm a powerful, nepotistic hire. Using my two relatives as a shield, they'd think I was a powerful nepotism. I didn't want to start my career in such a lukewarm environment. Then, why are you joining them now? Because the new business was what I wanted to do. As a candidate for the next president, I would be in an environment where I can work hard and compete with other candidates. I don't understand. I'm not trying to get you to understand now that you're a stranger. Well, that's why my brother will be out of a job for a while, so you have to take care of him. No, I'm not. What? I don't work anymore. What? Well, I messed up a bit and had no choice but to leave. Ah, uh, that's why you stopped paying the living expenses. Well, in the investigative report that my father hired a while ago, I heard about it. Uh, investigator? What? If you knew, why did you say mean things? In this situation, I was just being sarcastic. Maybe I spoiled you too much. What? Even though the marriage was related to the circumstances of our parents, because you will be my wife, maybe I misunderstood what it meant to be kind. Oh no, I don't think you're wrong in the slightest. Um, more than that, being welcomed as a candidate for the next president of your father's company, are you getting a pay raise? Well, better than before. Then, from now on, I will change my mind and do housework. So, don't you think it's too early to get divorced, right? Wait a minute. Didn't you fall for divorce yourself? If I knew this would happen, I wouldn't have submitted it. No, we would have divorced no matter what. Why? My dad doesn't like correct things. He's strict even to his own hair son. He mercilessly cut down for one of his adulterous affairs. A woman who betrays her husband and has an affair is treated in a similar way. How is it possible that an adulteress is ensconced in the position of wife of potential next president? It's absolutely impossible. I'm with him on this one. Well, I'm sorry about that, and... It's a little late for that, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. Well, that's why. I'll have my lawyer visit you later. What? You know where I live? It's my brother's hideaway. That's also in the report from the credit bureau. Um, please. Well, I guess this is the last time I'll have to deal with you directly. I'll be a better wife this time. Just give me one more chance. Please. I really love you too. We can make it work again. I don't see that you're reading my text. Lena never called me by my name. We got divorced. My brother paid the alimony demanded by me and his ex fiancee in one lump sum. He left Lena, has never been seen again. The alimony Lena was charged was paid by her in laws. Also, my father's support was cut off in this divorce. My ex in law's company went bankrupt. I have some sympathy for the fact that this marriage was driven by my parents, but so was I. My father and I will be able to learn from this mistake and move on.
It seems like Lena and her family is having a difficult time. Right now, the three of them are living in a one room apartment being forced to make ends meet. They are cursing each other every day as neighborhoods complain. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.